Well, Republicans do nothing to obstruct our efforts to lower your gas taxes. I propose that. I've asked the Congress to eliminate the federal gas tax for the next, as long as this crisis goes on. Lower food prices, lower health care costs, hopefully soon lower your prescription drug costs. That was President Biden yesterday accusing Republicans of failing to help lower costs during his speech. He also blamed Putin again for soaring gasoline prices. Joining me right now is North Carolina Congressman Greg Murphy. He's a member of the House Ways and Means Committee and vice chairman of the GOP Doctors Caucus. Congressman, thanks very much for being here. Uh, I want to get your take on how high inflation can go, because we see now that certain states are sending out more checks to people, okay? And yeah. I know that the COVID relief package that was signed into law in March of uh, 2021 is one of the key reasons that inflation is as high as it is today. Those states yeah. never uh, appropriated <clears throat> that money. So do you think that money going out now in new checks, they're, and, and amazingly, they're calling them inflation-fighting checks. It's more stimulus. Um, do you yeah. think that stokes inflation even higher? Maria, it does. And it's very well known economic fact. Even even Democratic uh, uh, economists, especially those with the Obama administration, have recognized that this out of control spending fuels inflation. And I don't know who uh, Biden is using as his economic advisors and what wand he thinks he can wave to just make prices go lower all of a sudden. It's just not how the market economy works. And even Jeff Bezos uh, said it's either misdirection or total uncomprehension of uh, of what how how economies work. And so, you know, he's done so many things now to stoke the fuels of inflation and then trying to magically blame the uh, the Republicans. This is isn't President Biden. It's President blaming. I mean, he just blames everybody else for his own uh, consequences of his own actions. And so, yes, it's going to continue to fuel inflation. And Maria, as things go on, and as we hit now the, the late summer and fall, we're going to start seeing a massive increase in food prices uh, because of the fuel issue, but because of so many things with fertilizer, potash, and all the other things from China. So the inflation rate can go much higher. At the very least, it is here to stay for quite a while. Yeah, and I want to ask you about the ineptitude of sending the Strategic Petroleum Reserves to Europe and, and Asia in a second. But the Jeff Bezos example is a good one, because many in the media are no longer cheering on Biden like they were during the midterm uh, campaigns. The Wall Street Journal editorial board taking note, writing, Democrats and their media allies are having a bout of buyer's remorse over President Biden. Yeah. Uh, the journal writes this as the Hill reports, quote, frustrated Democrats express alarm over Biden's powerlessness, with one top Democrat strategist telling the outlet, our house is on fire, and it seems like they're doing nothing to put the fire out. They're just watching it with the rest of us, Congressman. How significant is it that Democrats don't want to be seen with Joe Biden? Tim Ryan says, oh, I'm the face of the campaign. You know, I don't know if I want him there. Um, and, and the media as well. How significant is this in your view? Well, it's a recognition that the Biden administration is a total and absolute failure. I mean, we saw the uh, poll numbers that came out of the Monmouth poll that said 88 percent in new record um, of Americans do not feel that this country is going in the right direction. And he's making Jimmy Carter look like a stellar president. And so, yeah, I understand it from a political sense why Democrats would want nothing to do with Biden, because it just you wake up every day, Maria, every day. And there's something new and crazy that this administration has done that is simply beyond belief. It is just total tone deafness. And they're single minded, single mindedly trying to destroy this country. And uh, and they're doing a very, very good job at it. This, this is not the America so, I mean, you think that World War II veterans died for. Yeah, that's a great point. And thank you for those World War II veterans and their families. So you think it's intentional then? <clears throat> I do. I, I mean, I think you, if you look at the different caucuses uh, within the Biden administration, you know, that you want the Rashid Tlaibs and everything because they, they feel that the Geo-Christian heritage of this country is damaging. AOC and Elizabeth Warren want a socialist country. Yeah, they're going to do everything they can literally to try to destroy this country and transform it, as Biden said, into a new, a new order for this country. This is not the America so that Americans died for. That's right. Why is he sending our strategic petroleum to Europe and Asia? 
He reportedly sent 5 million barrels of oil from the American reserves to Europe and Asia, including China. While people are suffering the gasoline uh, price uh, soaring here, do you know anything about this? Did the Chinese overlord say we want the oil? I mean, this is the strategic reserve, which he's been boasting about being his big magic bullet to get gas prices down. And he sends the oil to Europe and Asia? Yeah, Maria, I don't know if you can. I can't comprehend why he would do that. I, I simply cannot. When, when you have Americans hurting so much, and here we are exporting oil, our own strategic, and you, again, key word, strategic reserves right. um, to other countries. And yes, some did make its way to China. How do you explain that? How, how can you comprehend that? I can't. Unbelievable. Congressman, real quick before you go, given you're the vice chair of the Doctors' Caucus, um, we see Joe Biden in plain sight and the gaffes. Is this a national security issue? Yes, it is, and it has been since day one. I mean, you saw the card the other day that told him exactly how to act, what to do, what to say, and, he's, and he comes up with his role of reporters that he's supposed to call on. This is the most orchestrated presidency in the history of this country. As long as he stays on key, I think some of his handlers have things okay, but as soon as he steps off, who knows what he's going to say or what he's thinking. It's, it is a strategic uh, problem. That's very scary because I know it's not just Americans watching, but our adversaries yeah. watching closely as well. Congressman, thanks very much for weighing in this morning. We will uh, see you soon and keep watching all of these developments. Thank you, sir. Take care, Maria.